to be able to miss. Okay, so just to be able to, to track our progress where we were able to cover last week and see how much you've been able to cover so far. Then after that, I'll be able to have a few, uh, a few tips on how we can be able to keep marketing. Then that will be it for today. So uh, maybe let me share a few things. Then after that, you'll be able to have some questions. Then after that, I'll be able to conclude. Okay. Now, uh, this morning I was having uh, a talk with, uh, I think he's not here, but I was like having a talk with one of the students um, who has been cut for a long time, uh, Nachi. And um, he has begun marketing online. And then I was asking him, um, how is the marketing going on? He said, well, uh, I posted once, but no one has asked a question about it. And uh, you, you see, <laughs> you cannot make a single post and expect people to be able to buy from you. It's like driving a moped the first day around the commune, and then you expect people to be buying. <laughs> you have to do it consistently. So the thing of, of the online marketing is that as much as this is online, as much as you're going to be able to post your link online, you have to be able to market every single day. You have to prospect every day, okay? Even if it means like doing it for like for one hour or even two hours a day, talking to customers every single day is the secret of our success, okay? So it's online marketing, but I also say that online marketing is also like a real business. So you have to go out every day and be able to talk to customers. That, that's the secret of actually succeeding in this business. Okay. Now, uh, something else is uh, just a refresher about getting customers. Now, those of us are who are from group one in the, in the team, uh, I think it's something that Carlos shared with me this morning. I just thought maybe I should share it with us that the program that you're promoting is for Safelis Publishing House. Okay, the program is for Safelis Publishing House. So it's it's good that especially if you're marketing to customers who are in Norway, people customers that you worked with before, it's important that you tell them that you are not able to come. Uh, let me just give you a sample text that um, can also suggest that you can be able to use that. You can tell them that, hey, uh, hi friend, uh, we're not able to come to Norway to Canvas this year because of the coronavirus. But Safelis have got an online program whereby you can be able to buy, to buy my books online. Right? So to buy the book, use this link and use this coupon code. So that way, there won't be any confusion that if you're marketing for, for, for Nosh Book Flag or you're marketing for, for Savelis, because Nosh Book for Lag will be marketing with them next year. Of course, you see the same customers, but it's just important for them to know that this program is run by the Savelis. So he just thought that you should be able to clarify that point as we are uh, speaking to our customers. Now, uh, we're going to be marketing to our customers who are in Norway, but also at the same time, uh, I think this program is a bit global. It's not like something that is limited to just like a certain commune. And that's why we, we are not being assigned that Mobisa has to work in Bergen. Or he has to go to Asko only. <laughs> he has to go to Asko <laughs> or <Maryland. laughs> Like it's a global program. You can be able to market in England. You can be able to market in Netherlands. You can be able to market it in Spain. You can market it in in the local commune. So it's like a global thing. And uh, as you approach it, I just think it's important that we, we have that big picture that is something that is huge and there are no limitations, okay? So let us not limit ourselves to a smaller community. Let us think wide and often we can be able to reach our customers. Now, uh, the other thing that I would like to add maybe before I allow in the question is about Facebook marketing. Uh, there's something that we've been working on because uh, in our last training, I shared uh, my Facebook profile, which I'm going to share once again, just just for. So I'm going to share my screen.
So um, one of the things that we said when it comes to marketing is making sure that your your Facebook cover photo actually communicates what you do. Okay, and we shared some tools of of connecting, like designing that. That's why you said that you can be able to use Canva to be able to design your cover image. So um, in my case, I'll just show you my cover image, but I'll be able to design another one for this program. Uh, you can be able to use Canva to be able to design your image, but something like this. Now, uh, one of the questions that we had is that when it comes to your bio, what link do you give to your customers? Okay, what link do you, because you have to make the process much, much easier. And uh, from Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, after I finish the training, uh, we get a few people just to be able to see how can you make the process much, much easier for people to be able to have a single link that directs your customers. A link that you can be able to put on your bio or you can be able to send your customer and they'll be able to sign up, all right? And uh, that's why we worked on something that I think I've discussed this with, with Joseph Hart and, uh, and Gideon. And Joseph Hart will allow me to be able to, to just use your link as an example, okay? So now the point is that on, on your post in the link that at this point here, um, let me just pull a pen here to just point a few things. Um, so now, uh, I use something I call Epic Pen just to be able to do pointers. So just grab, to grab this here. And so if you look at this part here, If you look at that part here, that's what you call like your bio, okay? And this part here, this is your cover photo here, okay? Now, your cover photo and your bio should be able to speak the same message. A cover photo is something that you cannot be able to click on because it's static. But you can put a link here about uh, the program that you're promoting, okay? Now the other place you can be able to put your link on the cover photo is in the in the description. So for example, if I upload this, you realize that I can be able to, to actually put a description here, right here. Uh, you can see that description. So you can be able to put uh, a link there because that's the only place where it can be, it can be used for clicking. Now, uh, so that's the cover photo way. You designed in a way that it speaks to the customers that you're trying to help. You're trying to solve their problem. Now, uh, the other thing is that down here, what you call like your bio, is the place whereby you tell your customers what you do for them, all right? What you tell your customers what you do for them. And for example, you help them solve earth problems in which, in which area, and then you need to be able to put your, your link that you'll be able to lead your customers to that. So uh, we went ahead and worked on, um, on a link that can be actually be clicked. And this link is customized to your coupon code. Okay, so uh, for example, if, if your coupon code is maybe ES4870, what you did is that, um, be able to do a bit of writing here for me to be able to illustrate what I'm talking about. So what you did is that we, we wanted a way that, that you can have a link that you can be able to send to your customers, okay? Because we have got three things here. Right, you have got you, who is the student canvasser that you're supposed to be able to market to your students, okay? Then you have got the customer, okay? Who maybe does not know about Safelis. And then you have got Safelis, which have got the program in the books that you're marketing. Now, if, if you start marketing to this customer and you take the customer and defer them directly to Safelis, okay? If you take the customer and defer them direct to the release, what you're doing is that you, you won't have a chance to be able to build a relationship with your customer. In the online marketing space, okay, in the online marketing space, one of the most important things you should be able to grow is your email list, okay? Uh, one of the things that you should be able to invest in, uh, okay, I'm not able to see the, the cause of, please activate it. Okay. Let me just try and see if I'm able to see that. Is everyone able to see my screen? If you can just do this, let me yeah. see. All right, all right. So now, yeah, 
in online marketing, one of the most important things you should be able to grow is your email. Um, because if, if you have an email address, you can email addresses of targeted customers, you've got the biggest asset. And one of the mistakes that you do want to be able to do is to have us as canvassers starting this online marketing space in the wrong way. Okay? And the biggest mistake you can be able to make is to take customers and send them directly to Safari's website without you collecting their email address and phone number. The reason why we've got a sign up page on, on Safari's is because every business knows that they need to be able to grow their customer base. They need to be able to have their email addresses. Okay? So as, as you're sending them to the, to the website, you also need to be able to grow your email list. Okay? So we talk about that. How can you be able to have a bridge page whereby you talk to the customer and after talking to the customer, send them a link, okay? And after sending them the link, they sign up with you first. They get to know who is Bobisa, okay? What is in the books? What does it represent? How can I be able to sign up with the books? Then after they have done that, they'll be able to be prompted to give the email address. Now this email addresses, I mean this email address, normally it's stored in your database because each one of us have got like a back office. Then, after that, you'll now be able to send the customer to, to, to the uh, Safelis landing page. So let me just use the example of, um, I asked my brother to be able to give me permission to be able to use his, his link. So maybe let me just speak, for example, uh, uh, Joseph Hux, because he has done that already. So I'll just go to my WhatsApp, and uh, I'll copy the link. Just give me a minute. So like I mentioned that every link has got your cust your custom code embedded on it, okay? So uh, just come back here to my browser and I'll close this link and I'll open this. So now uh, every link has got a custom like your, your discount code attached to it, okay? So in this case, uh, the link is is www.yourcouponcode.programintherbooks.com. Okay. So if I click on search, this is what the page looks like. Basically, this page is to be able to give the customer the coupon code. But now every coupon code is attached to you. So this is what happens. Basically, the customer comes here and sees that, hey, what are all the program is all about? It's about in the books. What is in the books? They get health materials, okay? And also, we are working on customizing in a way that because everyone has a unique story, okay? The, the story for Gideon is not the story for, for Fred. It's not the, Fred, the story for Brian. Each one of us have got different stories. So we're working on a way that somewhere in this page, you can be able to have your picture and a story about you. What do you do? What are you passionate about, okay? Now, that gives you a chance to be able to connect to the customer. Right. So once that is done, like this video just tells the customer that hey, this is what the program is all about. Hello, welcome to Instabook, an online platform that contains a variety of topics that deal with health. This video is intended to help you navigate our website. By clicking the join option, you will be able to register a new account. Here, you only have to fill in your data in the corresponding section, and then you will have access to all the content. Once logged into the platform, you will be able to browse, read, search, and see all the available content. You can click the search for content icon and look up information as many times as you want. For example, you can... So you see that like it takes the customer through the process of what they actually get with in the books because otherwise this video is not available on, on the platform. But if they use this link, they can actually be able to see what the program is all about. Okay. Then down here, you can be able to see that the doctors that are available are responsible for the program. Frequent ask questions that customers can be able to have. Then if the customer is convinced, they'll be able to say that, yes, I want this deal. I want to be able to get the coupon code. So if they click any of these buttons, there's this button here. Uh, there is this button here, okay. Then up here, there's this is what you call a call to actions in online marketing. There's this button here, all right. Then up here, there's this button. Here. So if they click any of the buttons, they'll be able to be taken to the to, to, to sign a page. Now, this basically collects the customer email address and phone number. Now, this is stored in your own account, not on our account. Because each one of us have got an account, okay? So I'll just fill this in and show you how it works. I'll just fill in my name, 
and um, okay. So loss. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, run. Also, the Mogadishu has got another time. Okay. So. Uh, so just sign up that, that app, click on that to get discount. Now, for example, for, 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 for Joseph Art, if you check your email, you get a notification that someone has signed up right away, like just the way I've done it that way. You get an email notification. So assuming that, uh, for example, I sign up like the way I've signed up, but I don't go ahead to be able to create an account, okay? I, I do it like that, but I don't go ahead to be able to create an account in, in Interbooks. The good thing is that you can easily be able to follow up with me and ask me, hey, Simon, what happened? You, I got email that you're interested in the coupon code, but you never created an account. So that email address gives you control of the process. Because if you just assume that customers are going to be able to find you on, on Interbooks and be able to buy, there's no way they're going to be able to buy. So if you're not getting the email notifications that someone has signed up or someone has used your coupon code, it means that you're not doing any form of marketing. So you're not getting any, any notification, it means that you need to be able to go out there and actually be able to do marketing. So basically, that's, that's the whole point. This, uh, this, uh, like, this is the unique coupon code for you. And then customers said, hey, uh, your discount code is activated. Copy the, uh, the code below, then click the link to create your account. Use this coupon code to get up to 50% discount in your yearly subscription. Okay. So one, we have, we, have to, we have prepared the customer that they're supposed to enroll for the yearly program. Then number two, they're going to be able to get a 50% discount. So what the customer does is that they click, this, they copy this link. It's copyable, they just copy this link, copy. Then they click, use your coupon code now. Then now it brings them to this sign up button. Right? So the customers they already know that they're supposed to be able to sign up. They already know the process of signing up, and this link links them directly to them creating an account. So, and automatically once they create an account, that coupon code is actually embedded on, on the forms. But just in case, remember that you have the customer email address, and also they have copied the coupon code because everyone wants a fifty percent discount. No one eats discounts, of course. So, basically, this is what you worked on, and we think that this is like the missing link. For you to be able to succeed in online marketing. Um, now, something else is that we also know that you're going to need follow up. So we are working on 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 a, on a course training. Just show you that we are working on a course training that is good to be able to actually guide you in. Um, if you look at this, for example, this is. Uh, just give me one second. <coughs> So we're working on, on a course training whereby you're going to be able to have access to all the online training that you need in terms of Facebook marketing, um, creating posts, and all that. We want to make sure that the process is easy for everyone. We're also working on doing research in a way that every week we have a post that you can be able to use from the different books. So in case you don't have money to do a subscription, we're working on subscribing ourselves, then I will have my team just do summaries of the notes. On different books, so you can be able to take that post and be able to share it with the with the members. So basically, guys, that's what I've been working on since last week when we met. And uh, I just want to thank some of us who have already taken action. I want to thank Pastor Brian. Uh, maybe Brian is in the meeting. He will tell us what he thinks about the program. Uh, Joseph Hart is in the meeting also. He he got his his link yesterday. You tell us what he thinks about it. Then um, yeah, from there you can be able to see the way forward. So. Uh, Pastor Brian, what do you think about this whole thing? Yes. Okay. Um, Brian, he said that he should be the last one. So let me give it to Joseph Hart. Um, I know that you worked on this yesterday, and uh, we're still launching, we're still in the process of launching, but maybe you can be able to give us some feedback, what you think about it, and yeah, how you experience it. Yeah, personally, I think uh, this is a very nice program for us. It makes work easier for students. And also, I have uh, received some feedback from uh, our customers. They are, they are trying to ask me how to go about it. And I've been directing them on what to do. 
So I think yeah, this is the that's the thing we are uh, got and uh, I personally have given them some some wordings just to tell them what we are doing and what we are selling and why we are selling. Uh, the student factor included and also the COVID-19 factor because we are not going to Norway because of the COVID-19 factor. So those things must be included when you are selling your idea. Ideally, I am sending them to their own uh, accounts, to their mm -hmm. inbox. So the, I send the link to their inboxes and they, they check on it and also they give me feedback. Some have told me they are talking about it and they are doing something about it. So I will check on my emails and see who has uh, entered into, into my account. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Joseph. I think uh, that's, that's very powerful. Vincent is not in the meeting. Um, yeah, so basically that's the thing. And, and you see, if you send a customer a link and they don't, they don't get back to you, all you need to do is to follow up. Just so you do it offline. When you, you go to a customer and tell that, hey, get, come back next week, you don't give up, you follow up. So just ask him, hey, have you checked the link? Have you signed up? Now, the good thing is that everything's like put together. So I think that makes all the difference, okay? Um, Mobisa, I can say that you have got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am just listening. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it sounds good. Sending to their um, uh, maybe WhatsApp or to, to hey, Facebook or to the email. I can say that it's a, a good one. I am going to try. I'm just listening what they are saying and what they are they have experienced. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Gideon, uh, Bona Senator. Uh, yes, uh, officer. Right. So, um, I, I, I've been talking to, to Brian, uh, Pastor Brian uh, Kiroi, who is launching um, an online podcast. And uh, he like he, he wants a link that can be able to he can be able to tell his customers. He just go to xyz.com and you can be able to sign up. So it makes the work easier for him. So I don't know. I've been talking to Pastor Brian and maybe he can tell us what he thinks about this whole program. I think if you if. If, if you unmute yourself, we can be able to hear you. Yes. You can hear us. Eh? All right. So uh, he's trying to connect. Just the very straight connect, but you, you can use my camera. Yes. Uh, he's trying to connect, as you can see. So. These technology issues. So basically, uh, maybe there's someone who had challenges with with, with uh, creating a profile or something like that. Maybe you can be able to post the question. And not some of us have already tried already. So maybe you can be able to ask the question. You can be able to answer that as Pastor Brian is try, trying to do the connection. Chris. Um, um, thank you for connecting. Yeah? Yes. I just want to reconnect privately, maybe later, and then you help me set up my profile. Okay. I think that would work to save time. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Uh, by the way, if, if you have got any challenge uh, setting up your profile, just know that you can be able to reach out to me, and I'll be very happy to be able to give the support. Yeah.
Uh, okay, so I think uh, Pastor Brian is back. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? No, you need to unmute your microphone. Hello, do you hear me? No, not yet. Well, apparently it's near me, so so you can just come and, and, and share the screen. Yeah. All right. Five me and the Yeah, what is about the problem? Hey, good afternoon, my friends. Uh, but I'm not I'm not, I'm not seeing myself. Where am I now? Uh, it's okay, just continue. You're somewhere here, don't for uh, Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I I think guys Yes. You, you want me to pause a little bit? Yeah. Uh I, I wanted to say that uh I think this this thing is a game changer, guys. I I, I am into it myself. I, I don't know about you guys, but when uh, Simon talked to me about this thing. Uh, I, I was even asking myself, what am I waiting? It, it's, it's like I wanted to be there some three days ago. Yeah, so so uh, personally, uh, I have set an internet connection. Uh, it's a powerful one, and I don't see what is going to prevent me from using this maximally. So if you have a way of uh, of being out there, let's let's do it guys uh, it should be able to we should be able to to make something out of it and the market out there is so huge that we cannot even begin to think about uh, how much we can amass from this so don't wait for people to to pamper you and tell you so many things for you to get into this thing and if there is if it is possible to also tell other guys who probably by now are not aware of the potential that is in our hands. I think they need to they need to be told. Someone has to tell them uh, so that we can we can work out uh, together. Uh, it's going to be good. Thank you so much. So, uh, Obisa, yes. Umeanza marketing, have you started? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, maybe this week, but uh, I'll talk to you private. Okay. Yeah, because many people are doing it, and uh, I have so many friends who are selling online. Sure. Uh, so when I saw this, I was like, I have to try, I have to sure. try too. So I'll call you privately and ask you a few questions. Okay. Before I start. Yeah. Okay. But I know we are going to do it. We are going to sell, man. Yeah. So. No uh, question. Thank you so much, uh, Mobisa. Gideon, thank you so much. Uh, I shared this idea with, with, with Gideon on Friday, and uh, I think Kismao 2022 will vote for you. <laughs> yeah, I think Gideon is just just something. Uh, we talked about the idea and we shared it with uh, with with uh, with. Um, um, Joseph Hart, he shared it with, with Vincent and like we just got started. So I think the only way to be able to test our results is getting started. And uh, we we think, I think that as someone who has been in the online space since 2016, by the way, the thing is that I never succeeded. When I started in 2016 doing online marketing, I failed terribly. I never got any results. It was It was painful because I was paying money and nothing was working out. But I think Having this single page, that's why I, I recommend this to everyone who's going to be able to promote this program. Oh, that I missed was, I should have begun collecting customer email addresses. I should have a place to be able to track my progress. So that was my biggest failure. So 2016, I failed. 2017, I failed. 2018, I failed. 2019, that's when I discovered the missing link. And everything like changed for me. So I just think that as you start doing this, let us not say that what are you to find? I think it's good to be able to start in the right way. And then number two is this product, people won't be able to discover it. 
we have to go out there and make noise about it. If you make noise about it, talk to customers about it, just take one hour every day and talk to people on Facebook. Inbox them the link. And let them know that you have been doing this thing for this time and this is the progress, but this year we're not able to do it because of coronavirus, but you're actually able to do it from home. So, and send them your link, send them your link. That is good to be able to make a lot of difference. But definitely we're good to be able to, be able to support one another. And uh, we are never alone, naturally. You are never alone in this journey. We're good to be able to work together. So um, I think uh, we have got like two minutes for the meeting to be able to end because we are using the, the free option. Maybe uh, I will request, if anyone has no question, I'll just request uh, uh, Charles Nganga, if you can hear us, you'll be able to pray for us to be able to finish. And those of us who have not registered by the let me just tell you that the, the truth is that we were thinking of starting this program at 10,000. But when I talked to Gideon, he said that Kuna Corona. So let's make an adjustment. So he requested that you can be able to at least register with 2,000 to be able to create the link. Okay. And once you create the link for every student, we'll be able to have a, a, a support training to support everyone, okay? And every month, you just, because the, the total will still be 10,000, but every month you'll only put 2,000 back of Malaysia. And you have started your marketing, right? So you'll have your own mini website, you'll be able to have your own unique link, so it makes the process much easier. So Kwanzaa C, Pesamingi, you only start with 2,000, which is very cheap. You get your unique link, get your mini website, get your own database, then you cannot be able to start market. You'll have to pay access for your, for your training. You know. So that's it, guys. Um, Charles, please pray for us. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and praise you for your goodness. Thank you for your love and care that you have shown us since morning up to this moment. We are grateful to have gone through this uh, training session whereby we are getting an acquainted on how we can do online marketing of the books that have the health message that uh, many people out there are desperately in need of. And Lord, if they get it, we believe that uh, it will change their lives for good. This is also going to be an opening wedge even for the other books that have other messages, even about the gospel to which when they come also online, that we can also get an avenue of taking them to, the, to your people. Bless the team that is organizing this and give them more insights, more, more great ideas and help us also, Lord, not to give up, but to keep on trying and uh, believe that we can always make it